Oh, this is where I would uh, abandon my family, leave my wife, and pick up women half my age. I mean, there are probably more Volkswagens from 2004 with the check engine lights on than off. Look at tree frogs or lick tree frogs? <laughs> when in Hawaii, lick what you can. I think you should get a demerit for wearing, not just not wearing a Hawaiian shirt, but wearing an anti-Hawaiian shirt from the wrong state. Because I do want a convertible. Um, and <laughs> and Pearly's isn't doing it for you? <laughs> and I, there's just no room for me in it. There's already too many other women, so. <laughs> And energy. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to another exciting episode of Window Shopping with Car and Driver. Today, coming from Las Vegas, Nevada, somewhere in Ann Arbor, Michigan, somewhere parts unknown, and somewhere in Alana's house, it's time for Window Shopping. Here's your host, Tony Kroger. Welcome to Window Shop with Car and Driver. This is the weekly show where Car and Driver editors, staffers, and contributors gather to shop for cars online that are for sale online based on a challenge. This week's challenge is to find cars on the island of Hawaii. Let's say you're going on vacation in Hawaii. The island of Hawaii? The really? island? Any of them. Really just say that? Island? Uh, didn't I say the islands? Okay, I heard singular, the island of Hawaii. But you mean anyone in the archipelago, don't you? Yes, anywhere okay. on any of <laughs> the volcanic right. islands of Hawaii in the middle of the Pacific. If you get a zip code in Hawaii, you're good. If you can find a car on Molokai... That you should get extra bonus points just for that. Well, speaking of that, Pearly, we did have the budget is fifteen thousand dollars to find something. Fifteen. Yeah, but if you wore a Hawaiian shirt, you get five extra. Twenty-five. What? No. It's not- if you're the only one who wore a Hawaiian shirt, you get another five on top of that. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask for another fifteen on top of that because I thought it was <laughs> thirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jonathan, since you're the only one that well, Alana sort of is Hawaiian, so she gets the bonus too. She gets the so okay. flower in your hair, Alana. It is. <laughs> there you go. I, if, right. I, if I'd known that, I would have put a flower in my hair. We're joined this week by senior editor Alana Schur, deputy testing director, Mr. Casey Colwell, uh, car and driver's favorite contributor, Mr. Jonathan Ramsey. And Road and Track Senior Editor, Mr. John Pearlie Huffman, joins us from his Las Vegas hotel room. Uh, <laughs> Pearlie, you want to go first? I do. Uh, you know, was, the way the, the challenge was presented, I thought of it as a long, as a short term, almost like a rental. Yes, you can do it that way, or you could bring it back too if you wanted. Right. So, oops. You know, you, I'm sorry, Pearlie. You know, you're almost unrecognizable in that location without your the the hubbub of your normal spot. I'm sorry to disappoint you, dude. You should talk, <laughs> Ramsey, about hubbub of the spot. I know. You- <laughs> Sick burn. I was, that, uh, I'm going to need to excuse myself <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> My here, here, here it is. shorts it's, are it's dirty. 2004 <laughs> Volkswagen New Beetle convertible. That is a very Hawaiian color. Tell us about it, Burley. Which <laughs> island? Oh, it's in Honolulu. This one's eighty nine ninety five, which is actually really cheap right now, even though it's got a hundred some odd thousand miles on it. And it's an, and it's an eighteen year old car, but it's a, it's you know it's a pretty sweet little car. We got a rebuild on here or what? What's going on? Manual, automatic. It's a turbo. Turbonium. So it's the one eight turbo, one hundred eighty horsepower. Turbo, which is seven point seven seconds, zero to sixty. It's it's a I think it's a manual. Or was it 150? Yeah. I can't remember if it was 150 at this point. Has some very fine seat covers. They fit great. I mean, a great, a great car for tooling around Hawaii. This one's on Oahu, so it's the big island. Well, not the big island. It's the island with the most people on it. One the owner. Sun, yeah, the sun in Hawaii just kills leather. Yeah, it does. Especially you know, if you have a convertible things. and you leave the top down, because, of course, that's what you do. I think this really? is it very, oh, it's a manual. Cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a manual turbo. And you you actually like this car, Pearly, or is this for Hawaii? Well, you these would are, do these it. These are actually these are actually pretty. The, the turbos with the manual transmissions are pretty nice little cars. Pearly, is there a photo yeah, of it, it with it, the top up? I want to see what the top condition looks like. The top looks I don't pretty see nice any top though. Up photos. I don't think anybody in Hawaii shows anything with the top up. Did those flaps back there ever go down, or did they stay up? No, they went I think down. They should go down, but the, the top's not fully down. It looks like. Yeah, I don't think they put the top all the way down. Oh, I thought that it, like it was designed to kind of look like a Porsche whale tail spoiler. I was like, oh, okay, all right, that's a movie. It kind of is. I think you're right there. Well, that's how the, that's how the original, original Beetle, the original, Beetle, the original Beetle convertible really tops just had like, a big uh, stack. Yeah, it had a big yeah. bustle. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of a tradition. That's kind of a tradition. The big bustle is kind of a tradition with Beetles. Is the check engine light on, Pearly? Is that check engine light on? No, it's, it's, well, I, it's not the the engine. The engine's idling. Engine's definitely running. 
Yeah. I think that's uh, a check engine light that's illuminated on your uh, purchase. Well, so what? <laughs> I'm not going to keep it forever. I'm going to leave it on Hawaii. I'm not, gonna, I'm not moving to Hawaii. I mean, there are probably more Volkswagens from 2004 with the check engine lights on than off at this yeah. point. And, you know, I, we, the car and driver tested it. You know, here's the two liter version that Dan Pun basically said was a slug, and it was. And then here's the turbo version, which was done by Ron Kino, uh, uh, who's working. I don't know which car company Ron's working for these days. And why is he on the left side of the, why is he on the right side of the car? I don't know. That's wait, cool. wait, wait, wait. That's, the no, photos flipped around. We'll, we'll get that fixed. Okay, but the flaps do go down. The flaps are down there. Flaps are down. You can see that. And it's oh, yeah, big, yeah, yeah. It's just it's not fully down. Yeah. down. And, you know, Probably, they, how quick yeah. is the manual? What? 60. How quick is the manual? Let's look at the numbers. Are the numbers 10. 10. 7 seconds, 0 to 60. Oh, okay. It's reasonably uh, quick. So it's, it's pretty good. It's a 7.7060 0 and a 16.2. You know, not incredibly quick, but not slow. Yeah. It's a hundred. It's 150 horsepower, but really a good six, 162 pound feet of torque at only 2200 RPM, which for the era is really good. Not a lot of miles, and you're under budget. And I think it was one owner too. It's one owner. And the thing is, is that it's a it's a low risk situation, but I think the car would be extremely easy to remarket once you were done. Okay. What uh, what adventures would you have in your um, minty green Beetle convertible on the island of Oahu? Oh, well, this is where I would uh, abandon my family, leave my wife, and pick up women half my age. Women, With huh? a Beetle convertible, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Alana, that, that sounded pointed. <laughs> well, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm kind of surprised you find out that I'm interested in women. I, I'm a little... <laughs> no, no, no. That wasn't, that wasn't directed at you. Are you sure? Because yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the fact that me saying plural is the thing that should be shocking. Well, I mean... And you could fit three or four if they were small in the car with it. You know, if it was, it was realistically, I'd go there with my wife. I could bring my kids along. We could all fit in this car, spend a month on the island, having a good blast, and then sell the car at the end and have to feel pretty good about it. Yep. And never have to worry about the check engine light. Never will. <laughs> it never maybe it'll go out. It. Maybe the bulb, maybe the check engine light bulb will burn out. That's like the mantra it's of every VW owner. Anyway, it's just the gas cap. <laughs> Maybe it'll go out. It's totally <laughs> right. just the gas cap, Alana. You're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. All right, um, Alana, you want to go next? Let's see what you brought to the party. Sure, sure. Let's do this. And you took the extra five grand in budget. I did. And Wait, I are we are we allowing? Are we allowing these? Yeah, uh, I think so. Okay, just He's making also got the sure. Pearl necklace on too, so that's very one. Went all in. Yeah. She's so uh, she's so saucy today. I have to make sure. Saucy, saucy. Well, I'm, you know, I'm in vacation mode, right? Yeah, okay. you know, I'm just imagining that I'm already in Hawaii. Um, all right, so uh, can you guys all? Oh, cool. Oh, darling, that I love so much. What a cutie, huh? Um, so, first of all, it's not that easy to shop for a car like on all the islands of Hawaii, you know, because there's not a whole lot available on many of them. And so this is in Honolulu also. Um, and Oahu's, I, would, I wouldn't turn down a trip there, but it isn't like where I would choose to go. I'd probably like to go to one of the ones that's like got less going on and you just go on hikes and look at tree frogs and stuff. But not upset about Oahu and I love this. <laughs> look at tree frogs or lick tree frogs? Depends Why not both? It, I guess. Yeah. When in Hawaii, lick what you can. Yeah, but first of all, so it's a it's a Honda Acti uh, street van, and it it's perfect. I love it so much. Look at the graphics. It's like even got little volcanic islands on it. The wheels are rad. I will keep going through pictures. Um, and are they is Hawaii joining in on the uh, the the K car backlash that's happening on the mainland? Not that I. What's the backlash? Think, oh, they're starting to question their legality um I mean, states are making them illegal retroactively <laughs> why they're they fit this one fits under 25 year rule yeah. yeah yeah for some reason they're saying they're not safe they're not safe on the road oh that's silly that's yeah true well i mean you know but they're not any less safe than any other old car that's on the road well I mean, yeah exactly exactly um, it's probably no less safe so what an, what an mgb is illegal no, no, no. I think I, it, it seems like there's, I haven't l looked deep into it, but it seems like someone decided, hey, let's get these cars off the road and is specifically going after these kinds of K cars. The 25 year 
okay, auto, carry imports. Out of protecting the occupants in them in an accident. Like the thinking is like, if you own one of these, it's dangerous to your own health. Or well, yeah, you're not going to hurt that many. I don't even know if that's the thinking. I know that's but, what they're yeah, saying. I feel. I feel like it's one of those things where someone in some like s small town, um, you know, political role got dumped by somebody who collects these. <laughs> And it like is purely personal and it's just spread. But that's my theory on this. Anyway, going back to, to K cars, K vans, um, little guys, little tiny engines, manual. Nice. They're all, this is, is this one turbocharged? They're all 660 CCs, right? Which is yeah. the K designation. Um, I mean, there are actually ones with smaller engines, but this is 660 and so it's like 50. Yeah, that's hours. the max. 660 is the max and there's a footprint max as well. It's like, look how much room is in there and those seats you can- Okay, like, there's not that much. There's not that much. Oh, room. you can get a surfboard <laughs> in there. You could get no. a surfboard in there. And I was well, just, I watched a video review of one of these um, and a guy had got one for his construction business and he had been driving like a ranger or something like that. And he said he can pretty much fit everything that he could fit in a six foot bed. <laughs> you could put mountain bikes in there, like standing straight up. Yeah. They're, um, they're surprisingly versatile, Jonathan. I almost oh, picked this exact car. So did I'm you? Oh, yeah. Right. Well, there. You I've know. also I've also picked a lot of K cars, and Tony's always like, "Right hand drive. I can't own it in California." <laughs> <laughs> because well, apparently, I can't votes. own it anywhere else either. Yeah. But so um, so it is. It's got a fair amount of mileage on it. I don't care because so that's got to be kilometers. You know, there was but you're zero. under budget. No, no, no. It's yeah. under budget. 000. I can buy another engine if I want to. You yeah. can, you can get everything you need for these guys. Um, and did you did you source some Pilot Sport fours? <laughs> Little ones. That's no. That's actually it's that's the hardest part about owning owning K cars is uh, is like parts and stuff. So, um, I remember um, a friend had a few Suzukis in Southern California, and he used to always get um, oil filters at uh, like the Suzuki Marine Shop. Because that that's that engine that basically that exact engine was in um, no, uh, Suzuki outboards. And there's a beat owner who has to order a lot of parts from Japan. They all come from Japan. Yeah, but they're available. Yeah, I mean, it, it didn't look like it needed anything, and it has everything that I was thinking I needed for Hawaii, which is namely air conditioning. Um, so there you go. Very and it nice. said it specifically said the air conditioning was good too. If I can find where it said that. Yeah, the ice aftermarket cold, wheels. Ice cold air conditioning with an exclamation point. And in, AC. With an exclamation point. <laughs> also, aftermarket rims. Um, That's for SEO the performance, I think. <laughs> the additional AC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, so that's my little baby. I I tootle around in that, and you know maybe I would. Uh, I wonder how big those wheels go are. to the races. There's two different race tracks on Oahu. <laughs> so, in the are you going to just watch the races? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, I suppose I could just like jump right in there, but I bet they'd be mad. Okay, Mr. Colwell, or actually, Mr. Ramsey, you wore a Hawaiian shirt. What do you? What do you? You're, you're up next. Uh, well, not only did I wear a Hawaiian shirt, I went because uh, I needed to steal a bunch of budget. So you can have my extra, Ramsey. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Um, so I found this in. Uh, I just want to make sure, because I found this on the Hawaii page, but for some reason, when I went to the dealer, this is what I'm getting, because I'm going to be on the island of Kauai, and I just want to be able to access wherever I want. I don't care about horsepower. I just want to be able to go off-roading and on-roading. There's like two main roads in Kauai, but the it's actually in Oregon, apparently, and then I discovered that there's apparently a big business in shipping cars, too, that people buy in the Pacific Northwest to Hawaii. So, uh, cause a lot of listings will say we ship to Hawaii, like in the listing. Um, so what, Tacoma, what's going on here? The car is in Oregon. Yeah. yeah. Let's just, let's just unpack all this. We're okay. way so, over budget a lot. and we're I not in Hawaii. The, okay. I found, if I found it on the Hawaii page, I found it on the Hawaii page. This is for Honolulu. Okay. So you were duped. Exactly. It says Maui here. And then I just clicked the other to the dealer link before the show began and discovered that it's apparently in well, well, Oregon. Well, let's find you a new car in real time. Or, or just or just don't open this page and just go off the Craigslist ad that says it's in Maui. Having, having said that, I like this truck a lot. <laughs> I, thought you you might, say. I thought you might like this. <laughs> but it's so the Tacoma was like 
the number one selling vehicle in Hawaii for like 18 years. It only, I think the, the new Wrangler when they came out in 2018. Uh, took Jonathan, a, can you pick a Tacoma that's in Hawaii? Um, uh, could I pick a Tacoma? I mean, he could, but it won't have those cool wheels. That one's exactly. in Paia. And it won't be, it won't be that great. That's the same color as my, as my first Tundra, which I love that color. Let's talk about that. <laughs> So you're getting one vote. <laughs> That's, and I'll take it. Early, you had a Tundra? <laughs> well, uh, so I found a bunch of Tacomas, actually. They're also in Hawaii. I just like the other one because it was, yeah, perfect. But I would even take this one because that was the debate. Should I go for the four seats because I know friends are going to come visit me in Kauai? Or should I go for the... Uh, cab and all that, but this one is also good. A 2014 instead. There aren't that many, aren't that many photos, but beautifully it's clean. Yeah, and the 14 um, is basically the same as it was until I think 15 or 16, and then they redesigned it. But it's still basically the same truck. What would you put on that rack? Well, I would actually I would sell that rack and get a just get a little camper, um, and I could curl up with my macadamia nuts. And uh, I would get a town and country longboard for it. <laughs> you, could, you could curl up with any women left over after Pearly goes through with the oh, That's why I'm going to be on it. That's why I'm going to be on a different island just I so can't. I don't have to go sifting through. <laughs> what? I definitely wouldn't get a Yater surfboard. Yater is the surfboard you want. No, it's not. I tried to order a t shirt from them and they sent me the wrong thing twice. I, oh, know, no. you, I told you if you told if I, would, I think I they specialize in boards, <laughs> not t-shirts. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Maybe you should try ordering a surfboard from them. Um, but yeah, four-wheel drive. I can go anywhere I want. It is very clean. Only seventy thousand miles. Well, seventy-one. Yeah, 000 but those miles, are all so. island miles. That's like city miles. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, the speed limit. The speed limit in Hawaii, I think, is all still fifty-five, right? And you Maybe, don't want to go yeah. fast. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, and no one's going that fast. No one's going fast in Hawaii. Um, but because you can always like, there's so many Tacomas around. You know, you can always find cannibalize other stuff for parts. You don't have to go shipping, having stuff shipped. Now, how uh, are you going to negotiate eight grand off of this? No, he's not I'm gonna I'm gonna wear another Hawaiian shirt on top <laughs> gonna, of this he's one. Gonna, he's gonna do a voiceover <laughs> for their dealership. <laughs> you've got Hawaiian underwear and socks. Maybe on you've too. seen me. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I do. Grand for that truck in that condition? That's cheap. Oh, Pearly. oh, Pearly's planning a trip to Hawaii. Okay. Well, then we can. That, that truck, that's that Gary. in California, that's a $34,000 truck. Gary. What? <laughs> so yeah. When I was looking up moving cars around in Hawaii, I was like, well, maybe there's a ferry. Like, what if you want to, you know, go to a different island? And But no, actually, it's like if you even if you live in Hawaii, you, you have to ship a vehicle from one island to another. There's. No Did you? How, was it expensive? Did you find out? Um, I mean, I assume it's not cheap, but it's also it's more in time because there's a load and an unload. I mean, it's like a proper shipping situation. Oh right, it's not like right. you pop it on in the morning and you get on the ferry and then you need it on the. There's no roll on roll off ferries or anything else. That like that. that word, yeah. Thank you. So yeah, All I'm right, Hawaii Mr. Tacoma guy. So you're way over budget, but it's a lovely <laughs> truck. Mm -hmm. Nice shirt. Thank you. And you wore and the you. shirt. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Casey Colwell is up next. What have you? Yeah, got? and I, I had a I had a Ren Spooner sitting out, um, ready to bring with me, and I forgot it. What's a Ren Spooner? It's uh, it's just a, a brand of of a Hawaiian shirt. Uh -huh. Do you know what brand yours is, Ramsey? Um, uh, it is a Sears and Roebuck, actually, Hawaiian shirt, and I think it's Casey mentioned. I think it's only because it's. I think they messed up because it's much darker inside. <laughs> so I think they. Oh, was it reversible? Um, no, it's a reverse print. That's what Ren, Ren Spooner was the original reverse print Hawaiian shirt. So. But the but even with the, the tag would be on the outside. Is that no no the tags on the inside? Yeah, so that's this Casey, one. Is, I, think should, I think you should get a demerit for wearing not just not wearing a Hawaiian shirt, but wearing an anti-Hawaiian shirt from the wrong state. <laughs> he All hates right. Hawaii. Let's see, let's see what let's see what let's see what Pearly <laughs> thinks about this Toyota. <laughs> Um, Got a little cool. forerunner. So yeah, yeah, I found it. I found a '98 forerunner. Um, this is uh, a very base forerunner. Um, it's drive? also. Uh, I don't think so. No, I think it's four wheel drive. Um, no sunroof. No this sunroof. Cool. This is really cool. Tires oh. look nice. Oh, look at that. 
My goodness. It might be. It might just be rear wheel drive. You might be right about that. I didn't even. I didn't even think they made rear drive 4Runners. But yeah, I mean, totally base, but super clean. Like, look at this thing. Oh, that thing's cool. That's very clean. How many miles? Um. And how much is it? Uh, under 150,000 miles. Uh, it is. It is definitely within negotiating range. <laughs> um and uh, yeah oh yeah yeah yeah. it's within negotiating range um but here we'll just keep i mean it looks like it's the four cylinder model right it's it not, is it yeah. is so it's a two 2.7 liter four cylinder uh we never tested one at least I, I couldn't find that we had ever tested one. Oh, it's that big two seven that they also put in the um t100 didn't they didn't they put that they, big they, they, in there i don't think it, they, they were using this engine right up till like look at this year. Some of these, yeah. Some of these people keep. It's like museum quality. Some of yeah, I mean, I, I was, I was kind of, I, I had a, a couple other cars um, that that were kind of on there, um, but um, I was like, oh man, uh, it just the cleanliness of this um, yeah. is great. And like you know, um, like Jonathan said, like I'm going to Hawaii. I want to go anywhere, right? Um, and you know, like I've, I've been to Kauai. I rented a. I think I ended up in a PT Cruiser. <laughs> and bottomed out on a dirt road going to a you know a special like locals beach like 15 times and uh, dropped it off beach. and never heard from him what are you sure locals is the right adjective for the kind probably of not you went to <laughs> no probably but not I, I no know. but it was like it's like it was like a hit it was like a, it was like yeah you know somebody you know met somebody it was actually the uh uh the 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 surf instructor that we had he was like yeah you know you turn down here and then you see a big tree and you turn at that tree uh, but if you see three small trees, then you've gone too far. <laughs> you know, like those are the kind of directions I got. And it was, you Local know, was, and of course, it's a, it's a beautiful beach. But anyway, back to this car. Um, 2.7 liter, four, uh, 150 horsepower, uh, which is, you know, not too much below the 183 horsepower six. It's plenty um, of so, power for what you're going to be doing, though. Yeah, what I'm going to yeah, be doing, yeah. you know, like, so we for tested a six. It, it's still, it, it's it's not going to be quick, uh, but it's it's gonna get anywhere. Yeah, but you'll yeah. be on Aloha time. Probably beat my K van. Yeah, yeah. Easiest, that would be like the easiest thing to sell again. Emphasis on possibly. I mean, yeah. no, the clen- <laughs> a yeah. ten second zero to sixty in Aloha time is like a mainland six. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Very true. I, I but, noticed in the ad they say specifically that they barely ever drove it in the rain, which makes me wonder if it's actually in Hawaii. It looks like it's I mean, in Hawaii. Th- it's got a Hawaii license plate on it. <laughs> I'm kidding, but doesn't it oh. rain there a lot? <laughs> oh yeah. Well, they didn't drive it; they just left it out in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> but it rains. If it rains, it rains in like Hawaii for like very short stints, unless um, except on Kauai. Kauai can get a ton of rain. Man, this thing is clean. I know it's really clean. I know the brake fluid, Tony. Uh, let's. Do we want to get it? Do we want to oh, yeah, zoom in on zoom that? In. That looks kind of dark. It looks kind of dark, but I mean, it's got an Optima yellow top. Um, you know, they clearly did not skimp on maintenance. Cool. Something else to fetishize. <laughs> really, it's got the it's got the brows over the windows. You like that? That's ooh, one of your ooh, fetishes. Ooh. Wait, where are the, the brows? Other side? What? The brows? There are no Isn't brows. On the other side? Go to the other side, Casey. Other side of what? The, the car. Truck. Truck. No, oh, no, no, it brows. doesn't. Maybe it was Jonathan's Tacoma or Jonathan's. Uh, Tacoma that had you mean it. you mean the you mean the like the rain shields yeah yeah or like the, so yeah. like if you're still so like if you you're hacking darts down. you can kind of like hang the out the window in the rain yeah exactly yeah. it's got pinstripes they bought that option I think they're called coach lines That's on a floor runner <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> um but yeah and like you know it's got it's got I mean that's a pretty new tire I think isn't that is a, it I don't know I can't see the date code well, I mean it's a good year Wrangler so but yeah they've been out for yeah a but it's a Wrangler. Wrangler. Something or another, but they're in decent AT. shape. Yeah, they're in decent oh, yeah. shape. Oh yeah, but also the I think the 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 uh, lugs going down the side, the sidewall, that that's pretty new. So it had to be in the past couple of years or past few years. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Lugs yeah. going down the sidewall. Yeah, the that's grabbers. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's it. Yeah. I like it's gonna get me anywhere. I can put it. I can slap a surfboard on the roof. I can, you know. So my selection is tailored to this audience in very many different special ways. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping, I'm really hoping to end my losing streak. Uh, th- this is not Wait it. End your I- losing streak. You you just won a, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, did I? <laughs> Whatever. 
oh, oh, how short the memory oh is at the top. <laughs> but so I lost once. Car, although this this one doesn't have enough photos, which so I didn't choose it. Uh, and but it's a manual. But here is my car, eighty-two thousand mile Lexus SC four thirty. Come 12, on, twelve thousand five hundred dollars under budget. Oh God. Pearly, it's got Why? your Why? engine. It's got your favorite engine in the world, Pearly. Oh, it's a turbo too, eh? Come on. What, <laughs> really? Wow. This is what, this is what you want to do in Hawaii? Huh? Is, that a, is, that, is that a Lexus Scuderia badge on the Fender? <laughs> okay. I got, I have things. I bought some dental floss to remove that. Okay. <laughs> Are you, this is what you drive to your fractional ownership? I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to pick uh, it up in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Waikiki. <laughs> is this what you're doing? And when you when you tell your friends that you've got a great opportunity for them, Look, <laughs> great money making opportunity. This is super clean. The dash is perfect. The wood is all nice and not laminated or they're all, they're all super clean because the average buyer of this car was seventy three years old. Here What's wrong go. with that? What That's is wrong you with want that? Want to buy a car from? No, no, wait, 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 wait. You're missing. You got an aftermarket radio, and you're missing something in that footwell. Um. Okay, mm. I got the net for the footwell. <laughs> yes. You got you sourced the net. I got the um, net. And what was the other what was your other problem? Shipping oh, to Hawaii is gonna put you over budget. Here's a radio. Wait, is that car radio. not in Hawaii? Is that car not in Hawaii? No, I'm I'm saying shipping these parts Hold to the, Hawaii. Oh right. <laughs> Here's my radio. No, it's free shipping. I'm gonna go with free shipping. Whoever <laughs> offers free shipping. It's not to Hawaii. And then obviously the wheels are aftermarket. So I got, I can, I'll buy a set of these wheels still under budget. Oh my goodness. And if you have to do, if you have to do all this work for, for pilot's board for us. Oh, come on. <laughs> if you, if you have to do all this work to make this car decent. No, this not is a good, really nice decent. basic car that maybe has, you know, the current owner has questionable taste or taste that I don't particularly enjoy. Hmm. So 82,000 different. miles. Just different. Just different. Don't yuck his yum. Okay, fair enough. You know, he's got these badges, which I'll remove with my dental floss. I'll get rid of these wheels. <laughs> I'm just remembering, I'm seeing it now. It has that, it has a little luggage cover in the back that you put like over your luggage to cover it from right, the dirty the hard top. top. Well, no, the hard top has to, the hard top, the hard top has to have that cover in place so that you don't damage the hard top with luggage. Yeah. So it knows, yeah. it knows it's safe to close. Yes. I didn't want to say it knows because I didn't know if it was self aware, but. <laughs> Well, this was in Terminator 3, so it might be self-aware. On this call, what's nice. that? What's that? Pearly? It was. You like that, you like that poll? <laughs> yes. More Outstanding. On this call. What? What's that, Pearly? More self-aware than several people on this call. Oh, I see. You're insulting us all. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. Wait, wait. But Pearly, do you know what other vehicle was featured in that movie? Which movie? Terminator 3. Yes, that's the Tundra. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> it was first generation Tundra. I remember talking to them about it when they did it because they went through thirteen of them building, making that movie. I and think I the I think the, the Tundra fan club got advanced showing of Terminator Three. Alana, <laughs> here's your super out. cold, super cold AC, Alana. <laughs> Eighty-two yeah, thousand miles. No but that's only one AC. Point. We need a. You know, we, need need a, we need an exclamation point. <laughs> runs great. Just done oil change and transmission fluid change. Hmm. Okay. It does need an alignment, but you know. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on. You really tell me. Tell you, this, is so, you know, this is so unlike you. Top Gear, did Top Gear do an entire episode saying why this is the worst car in the world? No, I've never had that episode. I've yes, never seen on. that episode, but this is a great, a, a, a nice luxurious convertible on an island of Hawaii with a totally use. I mean, people say that back seat's probably useless. But my golf clubs fit in there, and that's perfect. <laughs> and here it is in the comparison test, 0 to 60, uh, 6.6, .6, which is a Hawaiian 3.3, three, <laughs> <laughs> or our mainland 3.3 three in Hawaii. Making up conversion rates now. Oh, absolutely. Uh, 300 horsepower from Pearly's favorite V8 engine from Toyota. It's a great engine. And it did finish second, but it only finished... Um, I think it was one point out of first. No, two points out of first. So very close. That's... I think it'd be more reliable than that uh, 4.3 liter Benz. But um, that picture impossible. of Tony Swan in the back seat is amazing. <laughs> okay, so that is my car. I think I'm definitely the winner. Uh, but we've reached the part of the show where we judge each other's picks and crown a winner. Um, we're gonna to have to go speed like... round, Pearly. We're gonna have to go speed fact, round because yeah, you got a hard. Pearly's got a flight to catch. I do. In, in fact, Top Gear did, in fact. Uh, uh, named the SC430 the worst car in the history of the world. Well, that's their opinion. At Car and Driver, it's not. <laughs> and especially not for this show.
<laughs> at Car and Driver, it's second place. Well, I'm not sure they saw your Beetle convertible with the broken top, which I'm giving a sideways. Oh. <laughs> Alana reluctantly. It, it check engine light. Yeah. That, I can't. I mean, I'm just not a Beetle guy. <laughs> That's all. I you're okay. you're, a stone, you're a Stones man. I, <laughs> that's okay. definitely a Floyd man, actually. Picking, picking the vehicle, picking the vehicle for that I would take, it's got to be Casey's uh, four All right, my V8 Super. wasn't enough that's to sway you. It's a really clean vehicle. It's a really neat vehicle. But it's, it's only two wheel drive. It, is that going to be all right? And the not... top doesn't go down. It's not thirty thousand dollars, Jonathan. I could find an eight thousand dollar four wheel drive Tacoma. <laughs> if you could all excuse us for a moment, I just want to ask Casey to step outside. All right, um, Alana, you are up next with the K van. I love it. Great choice. And what is your favorite car besides your own for Hawaii? Oh gosh, uh, this is very difficult. Um, I think I'm going to have to go with you, Tony, because I do want a convertible. Um, and <laughs> and Pearly's isn't doing it for you. <laughs> and I, there's just no room for me in it. There's already too many other women. So <laughs> I'm going to guess there, there aren't any in the Lexus. So oh, there you that's go. what you get, Pearly, for and being a like big papa. I like both the trucks, guys. I like them. I just want to. I just want to drop top. All right, okay. I'll take the vote. Um, uh, Jonathan Ramsey. What did you have? Oh, you're over budget. Way I over the, budget. I'll give you a sideways because I like where your heart is. I'll give you a like sideways you for the shirt. You wore a Hawaiian shirt. You wore the shirt. <laughs> I'll take, I'll collect all the scraps car, I could get. <laughs> the car was a good car, truck, so it wasn't was like, even in Hawaii. I, yeah. It was. I, well, found the second it in, one. I found it on the, second yes, one. And the second one was. So, but still well um, over budget. And Jonathan, what is your favorite vehicle? Well, uh, favorite, what would I take of what has been presented to me on the menu <laughs> were I to go to Hawaii? It is such a good menu. The answer to that question is, uh, man, and I'm, I would be tempted to try out the Honda uh, cute thing, but I really have to go with Forerunner because why would you? Why would you not? Two. Two for Two. KC. All right. Uh, Mr. Colwell, great choice. Great find. You're still, you were over budget though. I, I, I was, uh, but $400. Fair, fair. If he would worn the shirt, he would be easily. In this, in this market? He did have the shirt I, ready. I to wore go. a state shirt. He just <laughs> forgot the shirt, Jonathan. He also, had, uh, he also had the most actual knowledge about Hawaii of anybody on. He's like, uh, no, no, he had a, he had a story five. about no. bottoming out a PT cruiser, <laughs> going to a local beach <laughs> is what he I was, had. Uh, well, the other thing about the PT cruiser is my, I guess it was then, then girlfriend at the time, but wife uh, made me slow down on the Hawaiian roads. Um, so Cause I was the driving PT in cruiser. Aloha. No, I was not. I was not on Hawaiian time yet. <laughs> um, All right, Casey, what's your favorite car? Bear in uh, mind I, that. You might have picked an SC430. I well, I, no. so I, I no no I did almost pick a, an SC430, um, and that was like I was thinking like Big Island, like that would have been my jam. But I because I did really almost pick that Honda. I got to go with the Honda. All right, I got to go with the with the Alana's. <laughs> oh man, van. that sounded like that sounded like Casey protecting his his two votes. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that. not at all. Oh, who do you want me to get my vote to, John? No, no, no. Not I, gonna be I, I, <laughs> no, no. And it was so he he did that. It would get him nothing. He didn't even have to vote. Well, if he voted for my, if he voted for the SC four thirty, we'd have a tie because I wouldn't vote. I I then well, the integrity of Window Shop might allow. I don't know. <laughs> is, is that word again? <laughs> I still say I still say what we need to do is we need to start writing it down <laughs> on a piece exactly of paper. So I'm like I'm like I'm like this. <laughs> All right, Casey. All right, wait, uh, vote. Wait, and then I just go like this. Yes. All right, we can. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to that. All right. Um, SC four thirty, lowest mileage of the group, I think. V eight engine, quickest of the group. I mean, nice. most Why, badges. That is such an anti Caroga car. I can't. I can't believe. You, yeah, but, that got by your filters. But, but Aloha Tony is ready to relax. Aloha, and with with those aftermarket wheels, Aloha Tony wants to wait I six had, weeks 
for his I car to be finished. <laughs> I have the other wheels. Okay. No, no, hey, 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 no, eBay has them. Was, <laughs> you got to wait to get them. I was very impressed with your preparation on that one, Tony. That's really why you got the vote. And also with your understanding of exactly what Casey's problems with that car were going to be. I mean, you were ready. <laughs> I know like, the audience. I know the I respect, audience. I respect the friendship. So. All right, and then I vote for Alana's uh, Honda van. I think that was a great choice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So the the no integrity sense. of Window Shop wins yeah. again. The integrity of just... Window Shop is secure. <laughs> Sacrosanct. <laughs> All right, Pearlie's got a flight to catch. We gave, we got him out here before one minute. One, we got one minute to spare, Pearlie. And um, Eight seconds. Thank you for watching Window Shop, this abbreviated episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And we'll see you all next week. And aloha. Safe travels, Pearly. Aloha. Yeah. Wait, 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 Tony, where are you going tomorrow? Uh, I'm going to <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> After your layover in LA? I'm going to Hawaii. There we go. <laughs> See you oh, all next week. <laughs> See you next week. Wait, did we just have to shop for you? Is that what just happened? <laughs> 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 <laughs>